Hey friends, my name is Sarah Renee Stepney and welcome to today's vlog. So I decided to start my morning with a little bit of yoga. Um, I haven't been practicing daily. I started going to the gym, but today I was just like, I need this. I need this me time with everything going on in the world right now. It's been very chaotic. So energetically, I was just like, I need to come back to this moment. I need to center myself. I need to just breathe and relax and bring my energy back to me. I've been meaning to implement more structure into my life, whereas I'm doing certain things daily, and I think that would be a great habit to start, um, such as cleaning up my room like every day and just, you know, putting things away after I'm done using them. As an artist, you know, it's very, <laughs> it's very difficult for me because I, once I get in that creative space, I'm just like, go, 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 go. Like, I need to get this creation out and then you know I am left with a mess afterwards so I've been practicing just putting things away as I go so I actually used to do oracle readings on social media and such um but I just stopped because I wanted it to be more personal for me for myself um and I wasn't feeling necessarily called to do them but, you know, with everything going on in the world right now, I definitely was feeling called to um, relay this message. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do an oracle reading and see if it resonates with people. Um, for me, the, the reading that I did was um, for the collective. And I actually felt called to do this because, you know, everything going on in the world um, <laughs> during this time, um, we're actually in the 2020 election. So, you know, for spiritual beings, it can definitely be very, very taxing on our energy. And, you know, it's very easy for us to get thrown out of our um, home frequency due to everyone else's energy, um, due to the collective energy of what is going on, at, quote unquote, you know, outside in our physical reality. So it's super easy to get wrapped up into that. And so I was like, you know what, like, my spirit was telling me that this message needs to be relayed um, and that, you know, it, it definitely has the potential to help people and to help um, aid in like the spiritual community and just everyone because we are all spiritual beings as well. Um, <clears throat> but just to help, you know, give clarity and to remind us of like where we're at. So I really wasn't feeling the first spread that I did. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it over. I'm going to try again um, to get the energy to be like how I was feeling it. Um, because if I don't feel it, if I don't feel it energetically, I'm like, OK, this isn't resonating with me. This is not going to resonate with others. So that's my mindset when I'm going into it. The question that I asked is, what is the message that the collective needs to know right now? So this is definitely a message for the collective, for me, for you, and yeah. So I went ahead and just drew three cards. I do a three card spread. Um, I don't necessarily do like past, present, future, or whatever. I just ask the message and, you know, relay it as it is relayed to me. So here is the three cards that I pulled. Okay, so the first card we have is celebrate your differences. Um, first, let's just appreciate how beautiful this Oracle card deck is. Like, I absolutely love it. This artist is amazing. <laughs> but anyways, back onto the message. Um, during this time, we're not, <laughs> we're definitely not celebrating our differences. Um, we're seeing people and things as outside of ourselves when that is and is not true in the overall spectrum um, we are all one we come from source consciousness so every single thing even the bad things are aspects of yourself um, so I think that's what is extremely important to um, note and to realize and remember because a lot of this a lot of us know this but 
we're not necessarily implementing it during this time because of all of the ugly and negative things um, and aspects of these people that we're seeing. Um, so it's definitely important to remember that, you know, these politicians are definitely, <laughs> they're definitely both corrupt. Um, and I don't want to get too much into the political side. I want to try and stay more on the energetic side um, of what's actually happening. Because when you look at it physically, um, you see, you know, you see two people um, who have their own agendas and you can say one is right and one is wrong. Um, but, at the, but at the end of the day, everything is energy first. And that's why it's definitely important to look at the energetic side. Um, so back to the celebrating your differences. Um, it can be difficult because we are seeing these people as outside of ourselves. But we really do have to remember that they are also aspects of ourselves. Um, and if you're not, if you haven't done shadow work, um, and if you haven't gone to the deepest and darkest, like, parts of your soul and your being, then you will reject and neglect that. And once you, um, say that something is outside of yourself, you are causing separation within your own being, um, which leads to fragmentation, which leads to you truly not knowing your own, your own soul, your own inner being, um, it causes separation and you are no longer part of God consciousness. Um, so with that being said, <laughs> celebrate your differences. So, um, personally for me, I wouldn't say you'd have to necessarily celebrate these, um, politicians and everything I would say to um, accept that they are aspects of ourself and that they do have these two um, different opinions and whatnot and that um, we we are always given a choice we do not have to um, we are always given a choice we do not have to accept um, these corrupt these corrupt ideas and everything like we really truly don't when it when it gets down to it um when i say accept them for what they are um i literally mean just that like accept those two beings for what they are but also this comes into the next card um trust your own understanding um also know that while you can accept them for what they are you do not have to stand for it and you do not have to um you do not have to go down that path. Um, so with that being said, you know, you are always given the choice. If you're given the choice to choose between two evil forces, then I am always, me personally, I am never going to choose. I cannot choose between two evil people um, running our world. And that is just my very personal own opinion and experience and that's part of and then this will tie back into the celebrating our differences um because everyone is aspects of ourselves and we are all giving our our own choice our own free will and it's what we do with that free will like I can't tell you what to do with your free will and you can't tell me what to do with my free will um and that's the beautiful thing about it it's like we get to be our own selves. We get to trust our own understanding and really dive deeper into that, dive deeper into our essence. Um, and then with the last card, keep your dreams alive. I didn't really show you guys this one. I want to show you it just because like her artwork is just so gorgeous, like just so beautiful. Like all of her work is just really mesmerizing to me. Um, and I love this deck so much. But then this goes back to keep your dreams alive. Um, so basically, just stay centered in yourself, in your being. Um, it's definitely easy to get wrapped up in what's going on outside and um, quote unquote outside. Because remember, our reality is a projection of ourself. We are projecting our, our own our own reality from our own consciousness. So we are projecting our consciousness outside into the world.
Um, but getting back to the keeping your dreams alive, just like a reminder to stay centered while every thing is chaotic outside while the collective is you know in a frenzy um remember that this is not going to last forever remember that no matter what happens um you still are your own creator you still are able to create your own reality because while we do create this um experience collectively we always experience um we always have the ability to create our own reality as well so there is the reality of the collective and then there is the reality of our own inner like our own reality our own special reality that we create ourselves um so remember to fuel that during this time to really dive deeper into yourself into your dreams, your realities, your goals, and everything of that nature. Um, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. I know this is going to be very controversial, um, and I hope that, you know, you're able to have an open mind about it, and, you know, you do not have to agree with everything that I said or anything that I said, um, and I will still love and accept you for everything that you are because I see you and I know that you are an aspect of myself. So it is all love and light. I love you guys and have a great, wonderful day. Peace. <laughs>